Madam Deputy Speaker, on bonfire night, normally a superb family occasion, this House locked down our nation for the second time, inflicting great damage on the livelihoods, the mental health and the well-being of our constituents, all in the interests of the greater good. I reluctantly supported that lockdown, but made clear to my whip that I would not vote for any extension unless it was made clear to me why such an extension would be the lesser of all evils. And I'm afraid the document provided by the government yesterday does little to address my concerns and therefore doesn't allow me to reassure my constituents. It deals with the here and now. It doesn't provide an analysis of the long-term impact on people's lives. Nor does it explain why South Northamptonshire must be in tier two. There's no analysis of the counterfactual i.e. what would happen if there was no lockdown and people were given sound advice rather than forced in law to comply. And here, Madam Deputy Speaker, is a fundamental concern. We already know that compliance is a serious issue in some places and sectors. There are lots of jokes circulating about how you can eat a substantial scotch egg with your pint in the pub, but not a bag of pork scratchings. And how different households meeting inside a restaurant will be rebranding their party as a business gathering. But in fact, these are very serious. Yeah, yeah. What they graphically illustrate is that those with the nous and desire to get around the rules will do so. And those who are more compliant will suffer the frustration of seeing others flouting the rules that they themselves do not break.